Hi, my name is Xpeke from Origin, and these are my top five millionaires for solo queue. Uh, for solo queue, I still put LeBlanc as a top five, pretty much, because even though she has been nerfed in uh, a lot of cases, like her chain speed and less damage over the last year, um, she's still really, really strong when it comes to pressure in the lane and picking up kills. At the same time, if she gets one or two kills early game, uh, that she will be able to one-shot everyone in the game, which in solo queue means everything because these games are not so coordinated when it comes to team play. I consider Asir a top 4 pick right now because uh, the good thing he has is that he's a safe blind pick. You can pick Asir in into anything that you know you will have uh, pressure in your lane and you will farm good and when it comes to late game you're gonna be a monster. Um, one of the main things of Asir as well that makes him so good is the ability to push and then he goes for Abyssal Rylice which makes him a bit tankier as well and uh, brings a lot of utility plus damage in teamfights. Lissandra has always been a strong pick. It's like this champion that uh, doesn't really win lane hard, uh, but he has a TP and his kit is perfect for solo queue because you can play her as an assassin, you can just roam all the time, you can go silent, and every time someone is out of position, you can just E on them, ultimate them, and one shot pretty much anyone. And in solo queue, it's even better because people don't really call misses as often and it allows you to move to other lanes whenever you want. Uh, the thing why I like Corky here is mostly because uh, he has hybrid, da hybrid damage, which means no one can really build against you and makes it really annoying. Uh, you also have a lot of poke with your ultimate, which is really strong. And at the same time, you are an AD carry that when it comes to late game, once you are field build, uh, you will pretty much be killing everyone in a matter of seconds. And uh, on top of that, his laning phase is pretty good because he can bully most of the people and whoever he doesn't bully, he goes equal against. And now you have the package, which is a super strong feature that he has, that at minute 8 means pretty much that everyone in the map has to be scared of you ulting uh, Valkyrian into them. And Twisted Fate is uh, my number one. Um, he will almost always be the, my number one for solo queue, uh, because he has the ultimate, which is really strong, and a stone card that pretty much allows him to gank anywhere he wants to. Plus, on top of that, he doesn't really lose any, any lane really hard, because the lanes he loses he's able to still farm almost equal with his Q. And yeah, once you have your level 6, everyone in the map has to be scary. It doesn't matter if you're 10 or 20 CS behind. If you have a winning lane, you have two winning lanes immediately. Okay, thanks for watching, and make sure to check out the rest of the videos over at lowclass.com.